Hi, in this video we are going to demonstrate how to do some garden etching or some borders here by your pavement and your plants. This is a circular log roll, these are log rolls um, and if you extend them they look like that. I have another video showing how to set that up. I've also got the square uh, rolls and this is what it looks like. So we're going to do the, the round ones followed by the square just to show you the variety and the method that I use is as follows. Um, you could get longer ones like that but that costs a lot more money so what we do is we just put it along the uh, paving and then we uh, support it with what is reinforcing rods now reinforcing rods come in a much longer length so we've had to cut this and we'll show you how to do that as well so this is some metal reinforcing rod uh, just a hammer some cable ties and a grinder just to cut these rods now if you're not good with uh, metal work and you don't want to cut all you need are some longer sticks maybe dial sticks that's also fine and then you'll hammer them into the sand like that and you'll see how we go about this little installation okay so this is an earlier job and you can see um, this is the same as those round log rolls and they are not in the ground what I mean is they've just been put here and we have attached these uh, rods just to support it we've inserted these rods every say half a meter or even more and we hit it into the ground and you can see how this is actually really strong I mean this is not moving anywhere uh, we are going to do the same over here Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to install this, but this is the round, the actual log roll. Um, and then what I'm, we are going to do is we're going to carry on with the square um, etching. Now, obviously it's best if you could do it one style, but I'm going to just show you the round and the square so you can choose what you want to do. Now, for, uh, for this installation, you can see the uh, paving here is actually uneven. So it requires you to make a decision. Are you going to follow the paving and kind of bend the, uh, the etching or are you going to just go straight with your spirit level? Here you can see we've put the etching near the paving. Uh, you can see the paving is not straight and we are going to uh, show you how to install this so it doesn't fall over like that. So what we have are uh, these cut pieces of reinforcing rod which are 60 long 60 centimeters and we are just hitting them into the ground always be careful there might be pipes electrical wires so we already know there's nothing under the ground here other than just sand so we are now going to tie these onto these uh, little reinforcing rods Right, so there is the reinforcing rod into the ground there and the cable tie tightened around one of the log rails and you can see how this log roll is now stable. It barely can move. It can move a little bit, maybe a centimeter, but that's it. If I try and press it, very strong. Perfect. So. Okay, so what I've done is I've threaded the cable tie around the wire that is joining these uh, square um, etching. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie it just like that, keeping in mind the level of the current log roll. So this is the square one now, and that's the purpose of this video. You can see there it's almost completely straight aligned to the other log roll. There we go. Perfect. Now, because this is almost freestanding, you see uh, the ground here is a bit lower than the the uh, etching. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fix it twice so that it doesn't wobble like this. Um, if you could, you could back it up with some sand here so that it kind of rests on the sand. 
and then I'm just going to use a cable tie around here as well. Now you could be doing this with wire. If you wanted to, you could just use wire. A cable tie is fine, this is really quick. All right, you can see now how much firmer that makes it and then you just cut it off. All right, so over here there is an irrigation pipe, so you just uh, watch the irrigation pipe, don't whack, uh, go into it. Now, at this point here, you can see we've got two um, pieces here. Now, how are both of these going to work? So, unfortunately, we're going to have to use extra of the rods. We're going to have to put one rod on this side, and then the other rod is going to be on that side. Let's pull this on straight. Okay, and it's a good idea if you can, if you can actually pull this. Uh, you want this to be tight. One of the nice things about using metal is you can actually bend it. So we can now bend this so that it goes there and there. All right, so I'm just going to cut the steel now. Just please be very careful when you're cutting steel. I'm going to just make it about 700 there about. Right, now just showing you, these are the two different partitions. For example, this is the one uh, etching and there's the other square etching. So because there's no fastening point, that's why we've put two uh, rods into the ground. So if you have a look at this, I mean, this is, this is really strong. So this is fine. But what you might find is that because we've almost lifted this off the ground, you see it's not embedded into the soil. Because our paving's a bit high and the soil here has been pushed back. We cleaned it out just so we can put this uh, etching in. Right now, because it's not in the soil, as you can see, ours is kind of on the surface. Um, and as I said, the paving is uneven. You might need to just come and put another uh, reinforcing rod here because of this problem. But in some cases, like here we actually don't need to because the sand is very low and what's going to happen is we're going to put our compost down and then we're actually going to let the sand come up to here which means that the sand is going to stop this from moving Right, so there you see, because the sand was very low, we've now mixing in our compost, getting ready for planting, and you can see now how uh, this is not as easy to move. You can put a rod if you want to, uh, but this thing is now uh, not going to move that easily. So that, that vibration there, that movement, that'll stop once you've 
uh, turned your soil and your soil is lifted a little bit. If it is bothering you, it's not a problem. As I said, you'll just uh, give it another support. The problem with the square etching is that you need more support, whereas the uh, log rolls, and I'll show you, it's actually uh, fastened very tightly together. So even though you're paying less for this, um, it is a lot, a lot more work in terms of getting it uh, upright and straight and not moving. See, if you have a look at the log roll, they're so tightly packed together, they don't move very easily. See here. So this is one of the reasons why they're more expensive. But obviously, it depends on the look you're trying to get. And there's nothing wrong with the square one. Uh, it, as, but as I said, uh, if it is going to be lifted, uh, like almost on the paving, well, it's going to need a bit more extra reinforcements at the back. Right, if you have a look at this paving, you can see how deformed it is. So that, unfortunately, is going to affect the style that you go for. My uh, advice is to try and follow the paving to some degree, but also try and uh, be a bit straight. So that at least to the eye, it looks straight, but that you don't find it's coming out too much, whereas somewhere else it's coming out only a little bit.